I was born in France and I live in the USA now, in Scottsdale, Arizona. And I did manual therapy when I was 12 years old by just feeling, not showing me a, a map, just feeling, having to discover on my own different sensations. And then I went to osteopathy, it was kind of e easy for me somehow. And um, I was, I think, the first one to um, pay attention to the specific lymphatic rhythm, develop a lymphatic curriculum and then a brain curriculum. I mean, even if you go in an emotional world, it's not somewhere, I mean, there's peptides, but where is that word of emotion? Even when you think about something, where is that representation? There may be some dimension that we can explore and those can obviously create disease. We know that with psychoneuroimmunology, psychology is going to influence disease. So as an MD, I was, um, um, all the time uh, helping the body but also replacing some of its, of its function. So um, I didn't like to do that, to just not look at any cause and just supplement something like this and let the body, think the body is kind of stupid and we have to help it because it cannot do anything. It's often something we don't do in medicine, we just don't often try to stimulate the, the, the own self-healing, self-regulating mechanism in someone. We, we just supplement and support and, you know, and it's, it's beautiful to see because there's very little side effect. So we could uh, give you uh, molecules, to, but we can help you to maybe create your own pharmacy. And it is still talk about the ph stimulating the, ph the own pharmacy of your own body, of your own tissue. So we try to help the pharmacy of the body get stimulated and, and balanced and if we open to the different um, aspect of the body if you put okay we can do that on a physical matter uh, with the posture with the muscles the fascia with the artery nerves viscera central nervous system peripheral but there's a time when you think that you're going to need more so you're going to create beautiful um, pharmacology in your body if you are aligned and supported properly but also you realize because of psychoneuroimmunology that maybe your thoughts now are going to intervene and change your peptides and change your your emotion are going to change your peptide or an energetic frequency i think the future will also encompass you know those more energetic aspect and why not you know helping supporting the, the, the uh, release of those balanced cocktail, pharmaceutical cocktail for your body by your thought, by regulating emotion, by regulating all this. This is going to be the open uh, field into which also body going to balance. Because when you know the body so intimately by doing all the, the physical foundation and all the, the process by, by which a tissue release and enhance and change and adjust, if you add all that together in that context, I think it's going to be an, an amazing uh, 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 modality for healing.